Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. Uh, last week I mentioned that I was going to do a plus size clothing haul because I have bought a lot of stuff online recently um, and I wanted to do that today for you. Now I've kept a handful of things. I did have a bit of a nightmare with yours clothing and their sizing but I bought a couple of things from Tesco. Love to, like, I love supermarket clothes, Tesco. Um, a few things will simply be, and then I did my yours clothing order. Um, let's just get straight into it. Um, it's a plus size haul because I'm a plus size girl. Um, I'm gonna talk to you about sizing. Um, and I don't know why, but sometimes I just feel a bit nervous, like talk about my size and the sizes that I buy. Um, I, on average, I'm a size 20. I typically go for a size 20 um, in everything. Um, however, if I was going to buy a coat, I would probably size up. And if I was going to buy a dress, I would probably size up because I feel like a dress, there's more, I'm thinking like boobs and hips, there's more places and belly as well for it to be tight. So I like to just maybe go like one size bigger. Um, and with yours clothing, I did a big order last year for Christmas um, clothing, like around the, the Christmas season. And I remember that I had to size up for yours clothing. So yeah. Okay, let's start with Tesco because they're the things I bought first. Um, I went into Tesco because um, a couple of weeks ago someone had shared that like they had started bringing their Christmas stuff out so I just went and looked at the Christmas stuff um, and then I saw these. So actually the first thing is this cardigan from Tesco. It's this light grey, it's like a nice soft woolly um, cardigan. It's really really soft. I really wanted like some a thicker cardigan. I buy those like thin ones you just get from Primark um, but I wanted like a thicker one. They had this colour, they had navy and they also had black. They were £16 each um, but when I looked at the black and the navy ones they had like fluff and stuff from other things on and I just thought ah that's the thing when when you buy like a black item that's like soft and thick and knitted you're going to be able to see more stuff on it so I went for the light grey one um, and I really like it. I bought this in an XL um, and it's just, it, I just love it honestly. I could, oh I love it, it's so soft and cosy um, and yes yeah, so I'm really happy with that. And then the next thing that I bought from Tesco was a jumper. I saw this jumper um, and I was like I just have to have this. <laughs> um, it's a dark grey and it's studded, it's got all these studded bits on some are pearls and some are just like you know fake diamondy things um and yeah i really like this this uh is quite a long jumper it's not really long it's not like a jumper dress and i bought this in a size 20 um and to be honest it's quite roomy um it's not like oversized or anything but it's nice to have you know it's coming into winter now it's getting a bit colder this is just nice to have and also I like on a jump on when it's not tight um because that's not what I want I want things that are just like feel comfortable it's all about comfort with me so yeah I bought that and this was 25 pounds they also had a couple of other colors I think um, but yeah, supermarket clothes I think are great to be honest. That was everything I got from Tesco. Then um, I did an order on Simply B. Um, I did actually, I love to buy clothes from ASOS to be fair. ASOS is my go-to clothing store. Um, however, there just wasn't anything on there recently that I have been like, oh yeah, I really want that. Maybe like one thing, but I didn't just want to order one thing. Um, this that I got, Oh, I am in love with this so much. This is a midi dress. It's black with white spots. Um, it doesn't show any cleavage, which I'm fine with. Sometimes I like to show a bit of cleavage, sometimes I don't. Um, and it's like a smock dress, but it's also tiered as well towards the bottom. Um, and honestly, it's just lovely. I think it fits really well. Um, it's like a jersey material, but not your typical jersey. Like, it's really a really soft jersey material. Um, and yeah, it's really, it feels really nice. 
I sized up in this, so I got a 22. Um, and to be fair, I have quite big boobs. Um, my boobs are H double H, um, and this fits over my boobs quite well. If you were a similar size to me to look at me, but you had smaller boobs, size you could probably size to a, to a 20 and stick with your normal size. Um, but I think if I had got a 20 in this, it would have stretched too much over my boobs. And then you know when like fabric stretches and you know. Um, but I really, really like this. And this was £24. I also feel like it's quite fashionable, you know? And everyone was wearing um, like white dresses with black spots and this is the other way around. I just think this would look nice with like either black or white um, high top converses, which I like. I like I haven't got any anymore but I used to love them um or um maybe some like suede sock boots or something like that um with like a heel I think would look nice as well um but I like dressing things down <laughs> and also imagine this with a long line black cardigan I really want a really long cardigan um I think it would look lovely so I got that for 24 pounds I also bought a new coat. It was in the sale. Um, it is called the lilac um, print because it's got a little bit of lilac that runs through it. Um, but overall, like, it's just grey and black, I guess. Cream and black. This was in the sale. It was like £34 and however many pence. And I really didn't know what size to get. So because it's a coat, I was automatically probably going to go for a 22. And then I was just like, oh, but what if that doesn't do up? And I don't know why, but I didn't order a 22 and a 24. I just went for the 24. And I was like, oh, I hope it's okay. All in all, I think it looks fine. Um, I think I maybe could have gone with a 22. However... When I did it, if I did it up, the 22 might not necessarily look tight, but might feel tight. Whereas this, I don't think this looks too oversized at all. I think it's quite like a relaxed fit anyway. Um, but I don't think it looks like it's drowning me. <laughs> um, but I really, really like it. So yeah, I got a 24 in this. Um, and when I do it up, I do the buttons up. Um, and I have room in there, but I like that um, in the sense of I imagine myself wearing this with like a jumper underneath and a scarf and things like that and um, just to be cosy. Uh, so I'm fine with it being a bit bigger. It doesn't look bad at all. Um, I don't know if there's still any online. Um, but yeah, I really like it. I would say the sleeves um, are, if I like stretch my arms out, the sleeves are a little bit like short um but it's really like not noticeable um and it's quite um a str it's not fitted at all so um it pr will probably make you look bigger than you are because it's like just like slouchy oversized and like straight um but if you're not worried about that then you're not worried about that i'm not really worried about that because it's a coat if I was wearing a dress that had a fit like this, I would probably be like, well, I'm not sure. <laughs> but it's a coat and um, it's, you know, I'm going to be wearing it with a scarf and gloves and, you know. So, yeah. Um, but I really like it. So, to get this for £35, I think was well worth the money. And then also, from Simply Be, I bought a pair of pyjamas. So, um, I was looking at their Christmas ones and then I found this cheap set that isn't Christmas. I think I... Normally I get uh, a pair of Christmas Eve pyjamas in my Christmas Eve box. Yes, I know, I have a Christmas Eve box. Um, I have young siblings, so I still get included in that in those festivities. And my parents are split up and both have um, young children. So I have two Christmas Eve boxes. Um, <laughs> so I will probably... Um, let one of them know if there are any pajamas that take my fancy you know um however i bought these they have a star print on they were called like the uh value legging set um and it's covered in stars and i love it i really really like it um i will say uh the top is quite long 
I would like for the top to be a bit shorter however what you're gonna do and also you know when you're a bit hot and you want to chuck something on so you're covered up a bit you know when you wake up and you like go and brush your teeth and stuff it's nice because it covers your mo saves your modesty a little bit if you don't want to like get properly changed and you like wake up chuck this over the top of whatever and go brush your teeth make a coffee and that kind of thing um so actually it's okay to be fair um so yeah i really like the pattern and then these leggings as well they're nice and roomy with pajamas i always say to my family like buy really big buy really really big um I'm, I'm saying that not as in someone who is a size 24 is really big but for me like for my size like I am never going to buy pyjamas in a size 20 like no chance I'm not going to do it because I don't want to feel restricted at all I want them to be really loose um so I am going to buy a 24 I might even go up to a 26 to be honest if that if it was like sizing where it's like this slash this and it was 24 slash 26 I'll probably buy it if it was 22 slash 24 and then 26 slash 28 I'm gonna go for the 26 slash 28 I just want pajamas that are big and cozy and comfy let me know if you do the same <laughs> um so yeah uh, I really like these uh yeah and I got them in 24 and they were about 10 pounds um, which I think is really good for a pair of pyjamas, like really good. Um, and yeah, also what I've been doing is wearing the leggings just around the house with like a black t-shirt or something. Just, yeah, nice. <laughs> okay, and then lastly we have the stuff from Yours Clothing. I'm going to need my phone. Um, I only kept one thing from Yours and I um, feel like I ordered a lot. Um, I did a first order, tried it on, loads of things were um, too big. Um, and I kept this one shirt and then I um, ordered some other things and paid for next day delivery because I wanted options for a date um, and then that sizing was bad as well um, which is a real shame um, and also it's a shame that at the moment you know one I don't want to be going to shopping centres just to go clothes shopping like no um, and also you can't try things on in a store at the moment so um, it's just typical really buying things online but anyway so last year I had bought some Christmas dresses from yours in a in size 22 but in my head I had forgotten that they were 22 and I couldn't remember whether it was 22 or 24 and instead of just going over to my wardrobe and having a look I guessed um, and I ordered stuff in I think 22 and 24. But this is the thing that I kept <laughs> this is a black shirt it um, is like chiffon but see-through and it's got these dots all over it. It also fits like, I don't know how well you're going to see it here, um, but it fits like peplum. So you've got the top bit of the shirt and then you've got like this seam here and then it's flowy on the bottom. I really like tops that are mesh. Um, and like a bit see-through. I like to wear vest tops, especially on dates and stuff. I like to wear like a vest top that then like shows that you've got some cleavage going on, but then you wear something that's see-through so that you still feel covered, but they can you can still see what's going on. Do you know what I mean? Um, this was in a 24 and this actually fits really nice. The flowy bit feels a bit big, but at the same time it fits around my boobs and I know if I went down to a 22 it would not do up around my boobs. This was 21.99 um, and I really liked this. So when I did my second order from yours I ordered the same shirt but in a different pattern in the same size. I ordered it in this floral pattern which I'll put here which was two pounds more expensive um, and when it came as soon as I put the, my first arm through I was like, mm, this does not feel right. It feels a bit tight, felt very restrictive, would not do up at all. Yeah, did, did up at the bottom, but not at all. And then I noticed that the buttons were really loose. And so I feel like someone else has had that same problem. Now, I feel like maybe that was a, like a one-off and um, the sizing was just wrong. It was labeled as a 24. 
um i just feel like maybe the sizing was wrong but i was really gutted because i think that print is beautiful and i have this like thing with i like a i like a black background with floral patterns on or like a dark background with floral patterns on and that, that's the kind of shirt that i would love to wear and as i held it up to myself i remember thinking oh this is beautiful and but it just didn't fit me and it's such a shame because it's exactly the same as that but just in a different pattern and that was really annoying so i had to send that back um, I did think I was going to have more clothes to show you that I had kept, but that just wasn't the case. Um, the thing that I am loving the most is the black dress with the white polka dots, because I think that is lovely. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you are plus size, let me know where you buy clothes. I tend to just look on ASOS, um, simply be yours. And that's about it. I look sometimes on New Look, New Look Curve. I never really find anything, but um, they do sell New Look Curve on ASOS. And yeah, I find things through there. Um, I don't really know where else I buy things from. Let me know where you buy clothes from. I would love to know. Um, and thank you for watching. And I will see you in a few days in my next video. Bye.